I'm here with Ed Gass Donnelly, the writer and director of Small Town Murder Songs. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us uh, about the reception of the film so far here at the Toronto International Film Festival? It's been really good. I mean, I'm very much sort of, <laughs> I feel like, you know, m my mind and body aren't exactly walking in the same space at the moment, but I mean, so far it's been, it's been great. I mean, you know, I've sold out houses and I've gotten some really good reviews and, uh, can we talk about the small town Ontario setting though? It's a rural setting, mm -hmm. Mennonite town mm -hmm. um, in Ontario. You're a Toronto filmmaker from here. Got your film here at TIFF. Tell us about um, how the story came to you. The initial idea stemmed from the idea of just exploring a murder in a small, the ripple effects of a murder in a small community. Um, I didn't realize this at the time I was writing it, but I think in retrospect, uh, I was influenced by the fact there was like a double murder on, on my street. and. Um, there is then this, suddenly this sense of a loss of innocence of your neighborhood. The plot, you know, you go right into it, opening scene, there's a body, there's a murder. I'll get a sheet. It's a police investigation. <laughs> and I gotta find uh, evidence. And we can't go messing with it just because it makes us uncomfortable. Can you tell us a bit about uh, what happens with these characters throughout the film? Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, the, the, the basic plot of the film is that, uh, you know, sort of, again, like the fact that it's a you know, story of crime and, and redemption in a small Mennonite community. And, I mean, ultimately our hero, um, who sort of has this sort of secret, you know, past incident of violence that, you know, the, we are never fully certain exactly what happened, but that he's forever trying to, um, you know, make amends within the community, and the community of pacifists don't forgive him for it. So I think he, as soon as he, you know, is suddenly thrust into this murder investigation, which he's not really, um, you know, skilled to, to to do, and you know, the the, uh, the OPP homicide comes in to help, but. Um, I think he really tries to treat this as a chance to prove to people that he is a ch that he is a good man and a changed man, and somehow if he can help, you know, feel that he, if he can do right, people will finally start to forgive him. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Cheers. You've been lying to the OPP. Hey. Rita. What? Look me in the eye and tell me he was with you. No, Rita. He was with me the whole night. We are here with Jill Hennessy from Small Town Murder Songs. Welcome. Thank you. So good to see you. Nice to see you too. We were just talking to Ed um, about the film uh, about small town murders and about how you know he's from a small town and he could relate to this and mm -hmm. a, a lot of us can. Yeah. Can you talk about where you're from and you know and how this story sort of plays into the places that you've been? Uh, well, it's interesting. I uh, I grew up in about oh boy eight different small towns across Canada and uh, I, I lived in uh, s two towns in southern Ontario which was about 45 minutes from where we shot this film so it was really uncanny that, that all these voices in his script uh, felt so familiar and then to actually go and shoot in a location that I knew uh, was, was really bizarre, bizarre. and uh, really to be honest helped so much with uh, with the acting, you know, because you know these people, you know, right. you know how yeah. they sound, you know how they relate, um, and it's very rare that you see these kind of, you know, small town Mennonite communities in particular depicted in movies. So I, I just thought it was so cool. He was going into this this arena. Well, you said how they sound because you mm -hmm. sound different in the film. I mean, <laughs> you, this is a bit of a departure from you. Oh, I guess a little I don't bit. Think of you yeah. that way at all. Well, Can I you talk about your character, Rita. Uh, Rita is, uh, boy, kind of a, a fractured individual raised in a very kind of sheltered environment uh, and, uh, you know, very solid religious, you know, household. And at some point she kind of cracked and rebelled and uh, kind of goes down some dangerous paths and makes some really bad choices in guys. <laughs> really bad. Really bad. Uh, yeah, except for the lead character, Peter Stramar, you know, right. who has his own internal demons and with the exception of one really violent incident. Seems uh, like a better choice. Yeah, much better choice than who What's she problem, went Rita? with. I don't know. I know she's, you know, we all make some bad choices, you know. And well, thank you so much for talking to us.